Starting. Hello. Tell me something later. I'm in an interview. Everything okay now? Welcome. My name is Pumit. I'm working for QA Market Research Company. Uh, QA Market Research Company is a market research company which conducts international projects, and we are conducting a project about the tea and, and the ice cream. And we have invited over here, uh, you over here, to get your opinions. I've been married for four years. Uh, could you please be kind enough as to speak a little bit up as everything has been translated into English as well? I have just gave a little bit uh, pass for, for working, and that's all. Anything that you would like to add about yourself? Regarding the snacks, I would like to get your opinions on that. What do you think about uh, snacks when I give you the words snacks? Uh, I mean, it's both uh, uh, disadvantages and advantages of having it, you know. I mean, you cannot live without that, but uh, if uh, you eat it, I mean, it may also give you some problems. Um, this is something that I cannot uh, help uh, having it. You, you know, when, when I have them at home, I would definitely my hands would def definitely go and grab them. And we generally, uh, as a family, uh, prefer to consume the dessert, not the salty ones, but the sweet ones. We prefer to consume. If you give me some specific products, for example, that you like consuming. For example, Bounty. A, the, the different variants of Etsy, the chocolate variants of Etsy I like eating. I mean, uh, uh, dips, especially in the salty uh, group of snacks, comes to my mind. I mean, this is something indispensable part of my life. And the snacks that you consume at home and outside, does it make any difference? How often do you uh, consume them? Very often I consume them. For example, if we divide a day into different times, starting from uh, you wake up early in the morning up to you go to bed, so those are the the, the uh, meals that we, I mean, the snacks that we generally consume uh, during the meals. For example, we can eat grissini or yogurt together or cracker between the meals. Not the main courses, but the, 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 the courses that we eat between the meals. What, what about at the weekends? Does it make any, any difference between weekdays and week, weekends? Of course, at the weekends, I mean, the, 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 the intensity of, of the snacks that we consume uh, becomes more. For example, when we watch a television, uh, a film on television, or when we go out for cinema, uh, we can eat uh, popcorns. And this is more uh, than the ones that we consume during the weekdays. So we eat uh, more snacks compared to the ones that we consume at home. 
when I go uh, for marketing shopping in the market, I mean, those, the snacks were the first thing that I uh, consider of grabbing. And uh, uh, I mean, the snacks that we can also like consuming when we are watching television. Uh, and when we are outside, we generally tend to eat more desserts. Uh, than the other things like wafers or, or chips. When you go out together with your family, for example, suppose that you uh, just uh, went out for a walk. Do you consume? So are you asking in a question like uh, if my family is directing me to consume uh, consume snacks? So, for example, suppose that you had a dinner or lunch, and after a dinner or lunch, you generally feel the necessity of drinking tea. After the meal, we generally tend to drink coffee when I'm uh, home. So, for example, when we got together with my family after the after the meal, we generally prefer to consume a dessert next to uh, the coffee. What about snacks? That, uh, snacks. Where would you like to get and buy them in the markets? And there are some corners that we can pick up the snacks as well, or or the street uh, grocers. Oh, you can buy it, and uh, and the patisserie. Uh, especially, there are some promotional company uh, uh, campaigns and activities going on in the supermarket. Who makes the decision for buying any uh, snack? Uh, well, uh, I mean, there are some products which would just sweet the appetites, my appetite, so. So what are the things that you take into consideration when you purchase these things? Uh, the price, if it is a product that we have used before, then uh, it's very easy for us to make our decisions. But if it's not, then we consider about its taste, its uh, package, and sort of stuff. I mean, it would just direct us and motivates, uh, motivate us to purchase that product. Uh, so suppose that you went out for shopping. You you don't consider of uh, buying a snacks. No, it just happens very spontaneously. So for example, we can just consider all oh, buying a dessert if we are having a dinner after it, or or me any meal. Let's talk a little bit about the tea. You drink uh, tea a lot, yes. So it is an indispensable part of our uh, culture. And what comes to your mind when I give you the word of tea? I'm mean, talking about colors, I mean the feelings, sort of stuff, or the way that you use or you brew it. So the uh, green tea uh, came to my mind because it is very much in demand in the recent days. And the samavar, I mean the big tea pot where tea is brewed for a lot of people comes to my mind. And, uh, and the, the thin belly glasses came to my mind because as Turkish people we generally prefer drinking tea in those kinds of glasses. So the visuality is very important for me. For example, uh, when you when you serve tea and treat uh, your guests with tea, uh, I mean the visuality uh, comes on the very much on the forefront. And uh, together with that, uh, for example, I even if I don't have breakfast, I. Uh, consider of drinking tea and I eat uh, cookies, cakes together with the tea.
was sovereignty uh, to both your family members and the guests. Do uh, they understand if the, the if you use bark tea or or the tea, uh, teapot uh, bags? Uh, I mean, those uh, tea bags and uh, teapot bags are not very much preferred. Uh, generally, uh, uh, I mean, the church people like uh, drinking the bark tea. So, uh, do you serve the green tea to your guests coming into your house? Uh, well, um, I generally ask what kind of tea that they would like. Uh, I can I can ask if they would like to have tea or coffee or anything else. I mean, this is something that I generally ask to the guests. So I am just uh, trying to do my best to uh, uh, offer them at different options according to their palate taste. And uh, to both my friends and the members of my family, but they generally prefer tea rather than having uh, uh, coffee. Do I have to give the names or friends? There are some teapot bags, for example are used and uh, sometimes I buy the bark tea by Lipton. A Lipton uh, Eastern Black Sea and Doge Chai. Which type of Doge? Or Earl Grey. The bergamot uh, inside, the, the bergamot flavor, I like it very much. And Chaikor has got a, a kind of tea which is called Tiriaki, which means addicting, addictive. If I, I would like to ask you to make a grouping with this tea, how would you be grouping them? So, uh, the teas that can just uh, satisfy my palate taste, for example, Lipton comes in the first place. And its taste is good. And Earl Grey uh, by Doge Chai. And uh, the Chai who comes last. And it comes in the third place. And the visuality of the package of Lipton is also nice. And and in that wise, uh, Lipton, I believe, that has got the charm, which also motivates the consumers to buy their products. And uh, I mean, uh, rather than the others, I use Lipton. So, do you uh, do you drink tea together with the meals? For example, when I eat a baked potato, I definitely eat, uh, drink tea. I don't know why, but this is how I do that. So I would like to get the taste and the pleasure of drinking tea as well. So I mean, uh, if I am eating kumpir, the baked potato, then I would drink tea as well. And together with the pastries or uh, the girls leme. The past refilled with uh, different uh, ingredients. I like it. So, but uh, I understand you, you don't drink tea together with the uh, milk uh, main courses. For example, if I got pastry or the cakes or uh, the cookies, we generally prefer drinking tea.
for example, is there any any brand of tea that you like? A, that, for example, the way uh, the wet cake goes very well with the brew tea, and the the black tea goes very well with the pastries, uh, which are homemade. But uh, and the brew too is really very nice. So green when I uh, drink green tea, I generally uh, drink it as it is. I do not drink it together with something. And cinnamon or or for example, I do not want to uh, eat anything together with the green tea. But if it is uh, brew tea, what do you think about the organic tea? I cannot make a, a lot of comments about that because I don't use it. Regarding tea, uh, I'm just trying to find out if we've got other. Hmm. If I am drinking tea when I am very tired, it just uh, re removes my tiredness and refreshes me. And when I eat something like wet uh, cake, it gives a pleasure. And when I drink it after the meals in the evening, it gives me peace. And it gives a very nice taste when we have it together with the breakfast. And the Samit chai, Samit is really very important in our culture and uh, it goes very well with uh, the tea as well. So for example, when I read the paper, I would like to also drink a cup of tea. What is the most important factor that makes you uh, like tea? Uh, I mean, uh, excessive consumption of tea by my husband is one of the most important factors for, uh, for me to like tea much. I mean, he is someone he drinks tea in every uh, moment and every uh, meal. Because we drink tea together, that's why I like consuming tea a lot. For example, I would have never been willing to drink tea in the ferries, but uh, because he uh, he just uh, inspired me to, uh, to drink tea, and when we were in a ferry, I started to drink it uh, in the ferry as well. What is the difference between bulk tea and the tea bag, bags? Let me put it this way. In every respect, please evaluate this subject. So, uh, for breakfast... So, for example, I went for breakfast and they don't have the brew tea, but they have the tea bags. Uh, in an open area, then I would be willing to drink it because a tea bag uh, is generally associated with the practicality. You know, if you've got a lot, if you don't have a lot of time to spend on brewing the tea, so the tea bag is something uh, very easy to do it in a very short time. But of course, the taste that you can get uh, from the tea tea bags uh, is completely different from what you can get uh, from the bark tea.
So, for example, I can also drink different uh, type of uh, teas as well. If it is brewed in the pot, uh, the sage tea Which which one do you prefer, the bhakti or tea bags? Uh, I prefer the bhakti. Why do you think that could be done in order to motivate people to uh, consume more of the fruit tea and herbal tea? For example, I hear uh, something like white tea nowadays. For example, because I do not work at the moment, I am watching the uh, women programs on the television and they were talking about that tea. Uh, So, uh, I mean, the lady has mentioned about white tea, which uh, she has seen on the television, and it was just helping the ladies to lose their weights. So, I have just uh, seen it on the television show, and uh, I mean, there, there was a claim saying that the uh, the, the the black sea was just going to be losing its value in the society, and. Uh, so, uh, for example, this has just uh, stuck in my mind as well. And you know that. So you know that, especially the dietitian and the experts about the diet, uh, diets are just appearing on the television and they were just saying something different. Uh, and I am not a person who drinks a lot and uh, I, I mean we are just hearing it I mean, uh, what the, I mean the importance of this kind of things is generally put on being very healthy uh, or healthy, living a healthy life so where, where do you consume the fruit tea? Is there any special time that you would like to drink the fruit tea or herbal tea? So, for example, like apricot tea. So, I mean, I generally prefer uh, drinking green tea. I'm from among the uh, categories, uh, category that you have already said to me. Uh, I do not uh, drink a lot uh, of different uh, types of tea. Uh, for example, like a fennel tea. Uh, I do not like uh, drinking it because it doesn't give me any pleasure at all. Uh, I mean, I do not like drinking the tea which has got really very intensive flavor in it or smell in it. So, I mean, instead of uh, drinking the, the fruit uh, teas, I prefer uh, drinking the cold fruit juices. 
what about the time that you would like to drink this kind of? So especially between the meals, I prefer drinking that, that kind of thing. Uh, for example, I, I would prefer to prefer drinking the fruit, I mean this kind of things, especially in the summertime to lose weight because the summers are really very important to look fit. How do you feel yourself when you drink uh, fruit tea? What kind of feeling you may have? Especially in the times that I uh, drank uh, green tea, I was just losing some weight as well, and I uh, thought that it was really very uh, helpful for me. I just feel the peace, uh, and I, I could just get the, the pleasure of uh, the losing weight as I drink the green tea. And for example, one of my friends used to uh, used to use one tea bag for uh, three three cups of tea. If it is a tea bag, for example, for example, you you are just putting it into the boiled water. So I generally prefer to use a different uh, tea bag for different cups. The sec no, the, the taste completely changes and it's not going to be the same uh, taste with the one that you use it for the first one. So suppose that you try that. If I get the same taste and the uh, and the uh, intense uh, with the one that I use in the first one, then I would consider of of using it for the second uh, glass as well. It's economical. And uh, it also uh, removed the, uh, remove the, the, the effort that you uh, are putting I mean, to just go and uh, take another tea back and to uh, put it into another boil of water. So, So what about the ice cream? Of course, does I, mean, I like uh, eating ice cream a lot, and uh, of course it uh, differs from uh, season to season because in the summertime I consume more often, but in the winter, for example, when you go out in the uh, street, I mean you can see, you can come across with the. Uh, so ice cream shops, so you generally tend to uh, tend to eat it. When say ice, when I say ice cream, what comes to your mind? Uh, I mean, you can just evaluate this from the point of visuality or uh, the flavors. Algida. So the brand comes to your mind. Mado. Mado is a very famous uh, ice cream seller in Turkey. Uh, they all, uh, they sell all bulked ice cream. And the taste that we're getting out of the ice cream is really very super. Well, for example, when I went to uh, to Moda, I. Uh, can have ice cream from Ali Usta, another ice cream shop. So what about ice cream, for example? What about the vision that you have in your mind? So 
So the, so the, the caramel, uh, caramel ice cream by Agida in a liter pack comes to my mind. So when you open up the lid and when you when you happen to see the ice cream just inside it, it just makes you happen. So this is something that you can come across in the Agida group. Uh, there is something art artistic, you know. That's why I like eating algida. So what uh, colors come to your mind when I say ice cream? So the raspberry. For example, the pistachio comes to my mind. Um, black mulberry comes to my mind. Uh, and the third place, what comes to your mind? And as a feeling, um, happiness a different taste, different flavor, the happiness that it gives you. I never, I never uh, consume a very rich uh, type of uh, Turkish dessert but I I can I can consume this ice cream because it's lighter than the traditional Turkish uh, delights Turkish sweets so for example there is a uh, city over here in Turkey which is very famous for it is uh, the ice cream called Marash and the Mado also comes from that city which is the abbreviations for Marash and the ice cream. If, if if I am going to be eating it on its own, I would prefer buying uh, buying the cornet ones. Uh, I mean the caramel one. Magnum double chocolate by Magnum, for example, and again the black. Black mulberry. <laughs> so, do you generally prefer to keep and store at home the the packet uh, ice cream or the bulk ice cream in order to treat your friends when they come to your home. So uh, we generally store it at home. I mean, we keep uh, the ice cream in our house on a, a, a permanent basis. Aliusta is located in a very, uh, uh, in a very distant place, so I generally prefer doing my shopping uh, from the markets. Where do you buy uh, them? In the shopping market, shopping centers, supermarkets, especially when I do my uh, house shopping, I buy it as well. Oh, suppose that I Fear, uh, I felt like eating ice creams uh, sometime in the evening. I can just go uh, and open the fridge and get the ice cream from the fridge. How often do you consume ice cream? I brought, uh, I mean, uh, outside, out on, for example, together with your friends in a cafe or just on the beach. Almost every day we go out, and between the meals we like eating ice cream. And after dinner, I also like eating ice cream. I generally like eating ice cream in, in the winter after dinners. 
sometimes it may just substitute the uh, uh, water as well. What kind of ice cream are the ones that you like eating out of home? For example, I do not consume a lot uh, like Cornet or Magnum. I generally prefer the bok tea in scoops. It is uh, so you're talking about the ice cream which are not fabricated. So I mean, the, the, uh, I generally prefer eating the ice cream that I could just freely uh, choose among the ones available on the counter. When your uh, guest came into your house, it could be your friends or your relatives. Think about your guests. Do you treat them with the ice cream after the meal? Let's uh, me put it in this way. Uh, do, uh, uh, for example, do you, do you serve the dessert uh, after dinner? Yes, of course. So there might be a dessert that I myself prepared or a dessert that we bought from uh, outside. Uh, we generally prefer the milky desserts. And I also try to do my best in order to uh, cook some desserts at home as well. And I also ask if uh, any of them, any of my guests, would like their ice cream as well. So I do not eat a lot of uh, desserts, the traditional desserts, which has been enriched with the sugar a lot. Uh, well, my friends are generally uh, uh, fond of eating ice cream in the summertime rather than in winter time. Uh, what about uh, the evenings? Do you also eat uh, them in the evenings? Yes, I mean, if I've got uh, ice cream at home, I can eat it as well. While buying ice cream for your house, which pair, which kind of ice cream you would like to buy? So, because there are uh, there are some which are sold in singles and. If I am on my own, then I would prefer to eat the cornet type of ice cream. So when we are uh, a lot, I mean, when we are together with the friends, then we prefer to buy the bulk or the packed ice creams. Uh, for example, especially in the uh, in the moments of the crisis, I can just uh, consume maybe a liter of ice cream as well. In the winter, I am not seeking a lot. Like uh, December, January, and February. These three months are the ones I generally uh, consume the ice cream less than the other times. So uh, it just decreases a little bit in the winter. Uh, what percentage? L like uh, twenty percent. If maybe once or twice a month I can consume uh, ice cream, or maximum three times a month I can consume in the winter time. I buy it. Uh, I mean, she doesn't say that she consumes it, but uh, maximum three times she, she buys ice cream in the winter.
in the winter, I mean, I cannot have the motivation to consume the ice cream a lot more than what I feel in the summertime. So, do you put any limitations on yourself for consuming ice cream? Or, I mean, uh, in terms of consuming ice cream, or could be, or could uh, in terms of its pricing as well? Do you have a limitation? No, I don't put any limitations on uh, purchasing ice cream. So, no, I, I mean, I cannot put any limitations on compared to the budget that I have for our family. I mean, this is something that I cannot do. What are the brands, the ice cream brands you know available in the markets? Algida, and Panda. And Fresca, I've never tasted it, but there's Fresca. And Hagen does, especially you can see it in the macros. Why didn't you buy it so far? I don't know. While going out somewhere or in the uh, shopping centers while strolling around. Oh, I cannot keep uh, the ice cream in my hand. But I've never tried them at all so far. And when I bought it, it will be a little bit more important. Uh, I mean, in terms of your health. Have you eaten uh, ice cream, for example, recently? At the weekend, at the last weekend, I ate it. When did, uh, where did you eat it? What? It was very late, after 10 o'clock. I just opened the fridge, and I just, moved towards the ice cream, took it out, and I ate it. And before that, together with the friends, we had ice cream outside, out of home. Where? In Bad Bada Street in Mado. Uh, you know that there are some big uh, glasses in which the ice cream was put, and we have had them in those glasses. Uh, yeah? Bazı çaylerin antioksidan ve yaşlanmaya karşı yararlı olduğu Ee, yani daha genç görünmeye yararlı olduğu söyleniyor. Ee, yararlı. There are something that söyle evet. Ee, şu anda herhangi bir çayı bu faydalarla birleştirebiliyor mu? Yani şöyle diyor mu? Ben şu çayı içersem bana işte hangi çay bunları sağlıyor yani? Bunları sağlıyor. Hangi çay bunları sağlıyor? Uh, that's enough on ice cream. Uh, şey konusunda yeterli diyor. Uh, dondurmalar hakkında. Mm -hmm. uh, 
e, şeyler hakkında özellikle çocukla annelerle konuşmak istiyoruz. Çocukları olan kişilerle dondurma hakkında konuşuyoruz diye. E, ve onların çocukları hakkında konuşmak istiyoruz. Yani bu ice cream konusu çocukları olan annelerle daha fazla konuşulacak. Ve çocukların neler düşündüğünü okay, Sadece bu soru. Bir dakika. O sadece o soru. Ama sorayım. Skype hep böyle ya. Premium Askim hakkında ne düşünüyorum? Ne demek Premium Askim? En üst Premium olan like Hagen Bass. Daha üst seviyede olan daha. Çünkü Hagen Bass gerçekten çok fazla her yerde bulunan daha pahalı bir kere. Okay. Okay. Uh, we are going to ask that. We have... Evet, açık olarak aldığı şey var mı? Ev için aldığı premium marka. Premium dedi işte Hagen Dust gibi daha üst evet. seviyede. Marka mı? Ee, Mesela Ali Usta diyor. Ali Usta elinde kapatabilir miyim? Ali Usta premium mu ya? Bilmiyorum. Valla. Dur, dur. Mini. Yeah. Uh, you know that Hagen Dazs is a foreign make, and we have got some uh, yeah, yeah. ice cream shops that she mentioned, like Aliusto or Mado. Yeah. Uh, so those are local uh, local ice cream shops stores, and uh, they are considered to be premium as well. So are we going to be including these uh, two brands into the premium ice cream uh, class as well, like Hagen Dazs? Yeah, if if it is if it commands a premium, if it is more expensive than uh, Alcida and Magnum. Yeah, Alcida and Magnum. Yeah, 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 Magnum. So I've got two short questions. And it has been said uh, that some of the some of the teas are antioxidant and anti-aging benefits, something that makes you look, look younger for longer. So, for example, the teas which just removes the edema on your body, which are teas are these, do you think? Is there? So, I have never read that uh, if the green tea has got this kind of uh, effect on the human body or not, but it's believed that uh, the green tea is, this, uh, is the one that provides this kind of uh, uh, benefits to our body. I'm sorry, but I think that my brain has just associated because nothing comes to my mind at the moment. Uh, I mean, especially during the times that I worked for a bank, uh, there were a couple of my friends who care about these things, uh, looking uh, younger than they are, etc. And they were consuming a lot of green tea. And uh, the, I mean, they were believed uh, they uh, they believed that uh, some of the teas were antioxidant as well. I think in the white tea, I'm not, I'm not uh, trying to give you wrong information, but this is what I heard on a television show for the women's 
So I believe that uh, there is a tea, but I don't know the name or the brand at all. Uh, I mean, the, 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 that is the tea which is going to be consumed by the people who are experiencing some problems with their uh, weight. Hagen does you mentioned about Hagen does is a uh, is a premium brand. Yes, I know. What do you think about uh, this? Uh, are you talking about the affordable? From the affordable point of view, for example, a milky dessert, it attracts you as you as you happen to see it. Uh, I believe that it could be more affordable for us to buy them. According to our income category, I think uh, if there is a fraction of people who would like to buy, but because of its high price, uh, is are not able to buy. I um, mean, in terms of its pricing, it should be much more affordable. Uh, are there any brands that you can consider as the premium as well? For example, Alusta and Mado can be also regarded as premium. Do you have any other names or the brands that you can be considered as the Okay, uh, I mean, she said that she's buying uh, bulk ice cream for her home uh, from Mado. Mado. Okay. All right. 